Muslims here in Southern California and around the world are getting ready for the holy month of Ramadan. Eyewitness News reporter Annabel Munoz has more on the holiday and how people are observing it in light of COVID-19 restrictions. It's a time when about 2 billion Muslims around the world who observe the month of Ramadan would uh, engage in fasting, abstaining from food, drink, and, and marital intimacy. Uh, from dawn till sunset. This is the second year the COVID-19 pandemic forces restrictions during Ramadan. Some are holding the prayers outdoors now instead of being indoors. In Pakistan, health officials try to curb a third wave of infections. Guidelines include physical distancing at mosques, continuing to wear face coverings, and asking those with symptoms and those who are over 50 not to attend. Hussam Alush, executive director of the Council on American Islamic Relations Los Angeles, explains it is challenging because Ramadan is a time of prayer, fasting and community. Usually after sunset, families get together to break the fast, almost like having a Thanksgiving night every night for 30 days. Ramadan is also a time of self-reflection and generosity. Seeking forgiveness from God, sharing forgiveness with others, being without food and drink throughout the day, hopefully builds in us some kind of empathy where we feel, uh, one, we feel very grateful for the blessings we have received from God, and be very thankful. And the way to show thankfulness is also by being empathetic with those who have less of these privileges. It begins in the ninth month of the Islamic lunar calendar. The celebration of Ramadan begins at sunset uh, tonight for most uh, Muslims around the world. During this holy month, you can wish your Muslim neighbors a blessed Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak, similar to what the sign says above me. Ramadan Mubarak again means uh, have a blessed Ramadan, or you can say Ramadan uh, happy Ramadan, uh, joyful Ramadan, anything you can say uh, would be greatly appreciated uh, by your neighbors. Annabel Munoz, ABC7 Eyewitness News.